Welcome to Tennis Spit, where we put our spin on your tennis. So the crazy mad scientist, well, tennis scientist, my man Dan is up to his thought processes of strings again. What did he do now? Stay tuned. All right, so my man Dan just walked in and he's calling this like an Oreo cookie string pattern, something, something that a mad tennis scientist would do. And I'm so interested to hear about this now because he's always kind of coming up with these great ideas and things that I would never do. Um, but let's see. So Dan's in the house and let's start with one quick thing, Dan. Um, first of all, thank you for always thinking of these cool things. Um, first of all, check out this clash and check out this clash. So Dan, how did we make it more black? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So um, I was always curious, you know, this uh, this kind of rubberized material uh, is kind of just sticky and and I don't really love it uh, either how it looks or how it feels. Um, and so I got uh, one of my crazy ideas was to take um, clear coat. This is basically out of a spray can. Um, I'm going to use a harder clear coat on my next round. This is a little bit soft. And uh, this is basically a rattle can uh, clear coat and it just popped the, uh, the black color. Um, it brought out like a, you know, kind of almost like a holographic uh, effect out of the logo, and it just gives a racket a lot of pop. So I wanted something kind of fancy for what I call the Oreo hybrid string job. Great. So let me just show the the fans out there, whoa, like the, an extensive look at the color differences. Like when you put the clear coat on, he, you get that holographic image through that silver. And then this black, like, look at how, look at the difference in the black. That stands out so much more. That gray stands out more. And check out the orange. Like, that looks more orange. I don't know if you can see it through the thing. This turned into more red when you put the clear coat on it. So that altered the racket. And actually, I think it looks better. They should clear coat it some more. <laughs> Just like you. So let's talk about the string job now. Yeah. So uh, just just coincidentally, the you know where where do ideas come from? Of course, when you're on a stringing machine, and uh, you've got you know these guys do it in about 20 minutes. It takes me a little longer, so I've got time to think of crazy stuff. So when I strung up this uh, this sweet area racket, uh, which I love by the way, I thought um, you know let's do something kind of fun with the with the colors. So I put a, a white string in here and red and black here. And as I was doing that, I began to wonder what would happen if I did um, kind of a center section um, of a softer poly on a harder poly uh, and, and played with it. So uh, what I came up with, and I call this the, the Oreo hybrid because uh, an Oreo cookie is hard on the outside and soft on the inside. And so this is a soft poly. This is a poly tour pro in the center and a poly tour strike on the outside. It's all strung at uh, 54 pounds of tension, so even tension throughout. I didn't really know what was going to happen when I played with this racket, and uh, when I went out, I was I was kind of pleasantly surprised that this racket gives you incredible feedback in the center of the sweet spot when you crack the ball in the middle, and when you get it more on the outside, it's a very crisp and control-oriented uh, feeling, but it, the ball tends to pocket very nicely. Uh, in this sweet spot. So we got the soft Polytor Pro in the center in the yellow and then the firmer strike on the outer edge. So centering into the soft string, which is yellow. I kind of can get this. This takes a, this would take a long time to string, but... Um, so it, it didn't take a lot longer. It is six separate pieces of string. So I've got 10 uh, in the mains. I've got 10 in the crosses. I start with four at the top and five at the bottom, so it offsets the uh, uh, the soft part a little bit. And the unique thing about the Clash is it's the only racket I know of, I haven't tried them all, where you can put two strings through every grommet, except two down here, 
and tie off those knots so you don't have to search around uh, for, for an open grommet. So that's uh, why this racket particularly worked very well. All right. So Dan, I'm going to know when I hit the sweet spot, right? Right. And I'm going to know when I'm not, right? Exactly. And that's, I think what happens is, you know, when we tried the, uh, the Sargenti style string job, you know, which had um, softer tension as you went outwards and opened up the sweet spot on a racket, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it felt, it felt really good everywhere. But you felt kind of lost when you hit with that racket because you didn't really know where the sweet spot was because the whole thing is a sweet spot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's fantastic. Everything goes in. You don't have to think about it much. What this racket does is sort of the opposite. It, your brain kind of subconsciously knows now where that sweet spot is. And you want to hit it there more often because it feels so great. And it really rewards uh, good, clean strikes in the center. And if you hit a, a few a little bit off, it also has a great control uh, feeling to it. So you really feel the difference. Um, in a, in a good way and it's not you know c sort of that lost confusing feeling on the other style okay yeah no i i feel lost and confused every day yeah me too <laughs> especially on the court yeah all right so let's take it on the court and uh see what we feel all right thank Thanks. you my man dan thank you i appreciate you thank you All right, so we just got off the court. Um, we got the Clash 100L here and the VS Arrow here. Two of us like one and one of us like the other. But this is going to surprise you what happens, though. We'll start with Coach Rob. All right, so I started out with the Wilson, the Clash 100, with the uh, fancy paint job. Um, Dan, I think, spray painted it, clear coated it. Um, so that was kind of different and then hitting with it um, when I hit the ball in the middle I had plenty of super soft sort of wet sponge rawr, feel um, which was uh, interesting um, it was a strange combination because when I didn't hit it in the middle I caught it off off center um, it did uh, throw some uh, feedback my way that was not always uh, pleasurable to my hand. <laughs> but you never do that, Coach Rob. I, I know, but I did today, so uh, who knows. But um, So I have to say, the, the string job on this one, um, I was not a fan, uh, as per se with the, uh, the other one we have here, um, the Pure Aero VS. Um, this one, it had a little bigger grip size, my hand like that. Um, it felt uh, more firm, more solid. I got more immediate feedback off the hit. Um, so yeah, this was a, a I like this feel, um, whether it was just firmer or, or what, um, just came off better. I could kind of keep up with Jared, barely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, let's turn it over to Jared. Yeah, so I think uh, my impressions were a little bit different than uh, Coach Rob's. So um, I know that Harry and Coach Rob were actually struggling a little bit more with the uh, clash, but in my opinion, I actually liked it. So I do agree with Coach Rob in the sense that you kind of have to hit this in the sweet spot for it to get the maximum kind of efficiency out of it, and anything outside of it feels a little mushy in a way. Um, but again, my game is more spin-oriented, so I can kind of massage the ball, adjust my strokes a certain way just to make it work. and. Again, the 100 square inches gives you free power. So for me, 
Um, it's kind of something that I used to kind of play with when I was younger, um, getting away with, again, free access to, to spin and pace. Um, with the 98, the Aero VS, obviously this is a faster swinging racket, at the same time a little more control oriented. So I think this one gave a more predictable response, but um, yeah, it was weird because any off-center shot you hit actually gave you a little bit more predictability and a little more stability than the Clash, but um, yeah, I just gave the Clash a little bit more of a, uh, an edge just because I like the feel of it more. Um, so for me, this one's my winner. This one's a close second. All right. So Coach Rob just asked me, um, is this a 100 also? It's a 98. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe... Maybe that's what made it a little bit firmer. Right. Is that there's a little less that's space. I, I think I'm... Like, I struggled to hit with this one, um, even though I've been hitting with a similar racket for, like, four years. Uh, this felt a lot more comfortable to me in with the string job. I guess the extra weight uh, made it more solid when I struck it. I was able to keep the ball in the court a little easier, uh, able to locate the sweet spot a little easier. <laughs> so, what was the... Did you string these? No. Okay, uh, so Dan, Dan did. did. Got it. Yeah. Mm. Dan, the, uh, the experimental man, yeah. did this. So uh, if you want to string rackets like this, I'm going to actually hold it up real close to you. And you can count the strings as to how many to do on that one and on that one. So there will be a lot of knots. I think he told me there's 12 knots in this thing. Uh, yeah. Have fun with that. Do you remember the, the string that he used? So it was Polytor Pro in the center. It's a Yonex. And then he on the edges, it was Polytor Strike, I believe. Hmm. So it's two Yonex strings um, going on here. Did so he also the, string these at the same tension, or did he change the uh, tension on these? No, same tension. Wow. Same tension. Yeah. This is Dan's Oreo Hybrid on both of these. 54 pounds on mm. both. Got yeah. it. Oh, they're one, two O's, too. So they're thin, thin, like 17 light thin. Hmm. Seven, Yeah, so a true 17 on both of these. That's why we're getting spin off of these. Um, hmm. So extra power, extra feel, extra everything, even though it was at 54 pounds. Hmm. So, so two votes for that one, one vote for that one. But, yeah, overall, good experiment. I, you know... We enjoyed hitting with it, and we enjoy what Dan usually comes up with for us. So he'll, I'm sure he'll keep it up because he got all the time in the world. Thank you, Dan. All right, want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today. Thank you, Coach. Sure. And, of course, Coach Jared. Coach Jared, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Jared Ma. There you go. Link is below. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Alright, ready? Out! The ball was in! You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! The ball hit the paint! Paint flew up! Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor. You cannot be serious. Oh, wait. I have swing vision. The ball is in.